I'll keep shining my light, shining my light. Every Life with same. God is so good. And I'm thankful for living. We're so thankful, thankful that you're here with us and joining us on the show, Life yeah. with Gwen and Joe. Keep shining my light, living my life. Every day is the same. We see God in everything. I'm thankful for living. Together, we'd like to help you fall more in love with God. We're going to see all of our experiences, all the things that we do, and places we go, and people we hang with, and it is going to be something that helps us all focus more on God. And in the meantime, we're going to fall in love more with God, and our lives are going to be blessed. You're a thriver in dark seasons, a survivor. So come join us on this fun life where we put God in the center of everything. I'll keep shining my light, shining my light. Every day is the same. It's a beautiful, gorgeous day. Absolutely beautiful outside. It's beautiful. Gorgeous day. Birds are singing, and we are praising God. We've been praising God all morning and started off the day with a, a prayer that this would go great today. <laughs> and we're praying that anything that God gives us to say that it's coming straight from God and nothing else of ourselves. Absolutely. But it's beautiful. And so we were both just chit-chatting and wondering how you all did yeah. last week. Because some of you, we talk about fasting, and uh, for the most part, I was challenging everybody. Take it from me. Uh, I, uh, I, I, I struggle with that sometimes, so I, I can uh, commiserate with some of you who are actually trying to get that done and struggling with it. But uh, it is possible. You've helped me a lot with that. And, um, Even if it's like short, <laughs> like, like breakfast, lunch, or just fasting one meal right. that you were hungry for, that would be a fast. If you weren't hungry, that's not a fast. <laughs> that's cheating. And so don't want to do that. But So we're just trying to get everyone's portions down. If you just make the effort to, to, to put less on your plate, and when you finish that, there's, there's a psychological thing that happens, like, okay, I'm done, and I don't need any more. And your body will actually adjust to eating less. And that's what's helped me um, just cutting my portion size. I, I've watched in the last, like, several weeks, months, you know, you're, you're, you're either skipping or your volume's going down. Now, wait a minute. I want to stop for one second. I have, I have, I have to, I want to give you something. Oh because because today what? this is a very, ah! this is a very special what day. Is this? this is a very special day for oh. for us. Today is our seven month anniversary of being married. Oh. And it's, it's the best the best thing that God ever gave me in my life is 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 having Gwen in my life. And so this these are some flowers for Thank you. you. Joe. Thank you so much. What God has done for us, you know, shows what how beautiful these connections can be so that we know how beautiful this connection can be. Um, one of the things that I felt compelled to talk about today was how in this country, I, I've traveled extensively in, in, my, in my life with my work. And one of the things that I realized immediately when you leave these United States is that we have it. Mm. extremely good here and so there there can be repercussions from having that much affluence and one of them can be getting too heavy and having all the wonderful things that we have available to us to eat on a daily basis and we can get excessive with it so I feel like we, we need to take responsibility and mm -hmm. uh, personal accountability for the things that we uh, the things that we struggle with which can be weight and physical condition and things like that so so I think that along with all the wonderful things that we enjoy, we have to take personal accountability for, for things that, the things that, such as we talk about on this show. And that right there is a starting point to getting control over it. You have to take personal accountability. And then not lying to yourself. So that's the problem if you don't write it down or if you, if you don't want to write it down. You're, if you're in bed, it's late at night, you want to just take account and say, God, remind me of what I've done. And then, and then you're, you're getting out the next day, you're checking to see what it was. You connect what you actually did, the truth of what you did, to the truth of what the scales are saying. And like you finally see that 
if I if, and you're picturing it as well as feeling it. I feel like what goes on with so many people that I'm uh, accountable to or people that I'm helping individually, which includes you all, but it would be that uh, people are all over the place. They're they're starting fast and they fast for several days and then then they go to binging. They binge back out and then they're then they try this and they try that and then the scales don't the scales are behind. So it's like wait a minute. I, I'm not losing weight, but you are losing weight. And then, oh, but I'm, I'm not gaining weight, but you are gaining weight, but haven't shown up yet. I mean, the, the scale is a, a lot of times behind what you're actually doing. That's why you've got to slow down, write this down, and get get a volume <laughs> check going on to where you can literally make this a science because this is a difficult science. It's not a controlled experiment in the sense of the scale matching immediately what your body's doing. Your body is like 90, 95% water. So that thing's a big jug of water floating around and water is very heavy. I mean, uh, so you, you've you got to do something where you're going like over a several week period doing the scale thing so that you can, you can see that, hey, this volume is weight loss. But if I, if I you know, with hunger and fullness, I'm, I must be nailing it because I'm feeling, so I'm eating when I'm hungry, I'm stopping when I'm, I'm full, but I'm, I'm stopping, I'm, I'm keeping it to this amount, I'm stopping it satisfied instead of overly full. This is getting me on a small incremental weight loss. If I go in and I, I've learned, like if I eat three whole meals, I'm going I'm to be looking at the scales going up. If I eat, I mean, for some of you, if I eat, um, you know, just one time a day, I'm for sure losing weight or if I eat two small times. Everybody's got their own, but you're going by feel, but you also get to this point where you're serving yourself less and you're not having to fight this t these temptations. And you just say to yourself, this is what my body <clears throat> needs. From personal experience, I, I struggled <laughs> with getting to the point where I was eating smaller portions and eating less because I was used to eating more and I I was just physically uncomfortable for a period of time until I learned to enjoy being empty uh, like right now right now I'm hungry and I didn't eat a lot this morning but I know that but I've learned to kind of enjoy that hunger Mm -hmm. Because I know that it's not like I'm going to starve to death, and I know that when I eat lunch this afternoon at some point, I'm going to enjoy that food tremendously, and it, it kind of makes me feel closer to God while I'm kind of that hungry. It's almost like the beginning of a fast, and you get really emotionally, spiritually sensitive. You anticipate eating, and then I also know that when I do eat, I'm going to eat a little bit less, and mm -hmm. kind of stay stay with that, and that's where your personal accountability comes in. When you're personally accountable, the aftermath of that is the gratification that comes from having the discipline. That's beautiful. You know, you feel like you're, you you feel like you have self control, and that's a very good feeling. For glorification of God, and amen. 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 That's it. I mean, it's the, the who cares what the scale says? If you know what what the whole point would be, you know, not not being greedy, and so just. Measure the greed in your heart, and if it if it's decreased, praise God, because greed is the idolatry. I just know that you know if you can make your focus that if you if you if you can know that God wants basically you to keep your temple in His eyes. If 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 you, if you know what God's expecting of you and, you, and you kind of give it to God, there's two there's kind of two sides to it. There's your personal side and there's your spiritual side, and if you have both of those in line, you know that. You're doing it for the Lord, then I think that's a pretty good motivation right there. I think that's the foundation of that's way it. down, the way down principles. The freedom. I, I, that's what you're saying. That's right. And it's just the freedom. Like I can remember that all the way down started off. I'd get on the radio and say, "Hi, I'm Gwen Chamlin," and I could stop in the middle of a candy bar and have no <laughs> desire to eat the second half. And that's how people came came to know me. And the freedom of having no desire to continue to eat is huge that's a motivation but that's because the spirit of god is inside of you 
and one of the fruits of the Spirit is self-control. So just to have a, a self-check of gentleness and patience and kindness and, you know, your anger goes away, all those things when the Spirit of God is in you, just having the spiritual check to know that it's God living in me, Christ living in me, and uh, is is for this life and the life to come, it's very rewarding. So yeah. All of this you can share with a friend, right? Yeah, if this is, if you're enjoying this, and, and we, if you're enjoying this as much as we're enjoying doing it, then maybe you could share this with somebody that you know who's, who's um, uh, going through some of the things you might be going through, or just somebody who might be interested in, in, in watching the show. Yeah. And uh, we're just having a good time here and uh, enjoying this. I'm enjoying having this time with my wife. I can't believe and, I got flowers. Yeah, let's show the flowers. I mean, the flowers, oh my goodness. I mean, this is not like, whoa, this is a big thing that grows. Don't you think she's worth all these beautiful flowers? <laughs> <laughs> she is so worth it. Flowers are incredible. And then flowers on the show. Thank you. I mean, I'm so overwhelmed. Good. So I love it. I love it. Thank you. And guys. we love you guys. We, we we thank you so much for watching and yes. we hope you continue to, to visit with us. We love you so Bye. much. Thankful for living. Thankful for living. Yeah.